Zach, extremely good. He has that ick factor, very Patrick Mahomes. Chad Johnson said this. He says, I'm not saying he's Patrick Mahomes, but when you watch his mechanics, his throwing motion, the way he moves, he's very Patrick Mahomes. So I've become a fan. All right. Uh, that's according to Chad Johnson. Woody, you were there at Jets camp. Give me your thoughts on what Chad Johnson had to say. <laughs> well, listen, I'm not putting Zach Wilson and Patrick Mahomes in the same sentence. I'm just not doing that. You know, there's a certain level you got to get to. But I will say this, though. When it comes to arm, arm talent, he has – Zach Wilson has elite arm talent. There's no question about it. The ball just comes out so effortlessly. Um, he can throw – he can threaten every area of the field. And I do believe, like, Joe, GM Joe Douglas has done a great job of surrounding him with talent. And hopefully with all that, that, surround, that, that surrounding talent, it will help elevate him as a quarterback going into his second year. Mike T., what do you think about that comparison? Well, Patrick Mahomes very well may be this generation of Michael Jordan, so to compare anybody to him is really foolish. The problem with Zach Wilson is this. You can make those off-platform plays, the flash plays outside the pocket. We've all seen his athleticism, his arm strength, as D. Wood was talking about, but you have to be consistently accurate from the pocket. And the facts are, last year, Zach Wilson was last in the NFL in completion percentage, and if that doesn't change meaningfully, Nothing else matters because opposing defenses, Brian, will simply keep Zach Wilson in his pocket, make him play from his weakness, and he has to be at least middle of the pack to make sure that the defenses honor him. And if they don't, it's really going to be a problem for his development. If that's the case, then, Mike T., what does progress and success look like for Zach Wilson and the Jets then this season? To have be a full-field quarterback that is at least completing – passes that are in the top half of the league, and then go make those splash plays, third and eight, go run for a first down. That's great, but if you can't establish, establish yourself as a pocket passer, it's really hard to have consistent success in our league. So if his completion percentage goes up five, six, seven points, then that's really a good year. If you look at Josh Allen's trajectory, that's exactly what happened. He was very average his rookie year, and then his completion percentage took off, and then everything else went from there. They got Stephon Diggs. He can make plays with his feet, and the rest is history. Josh Allen's a great player, and if I'm the Jets, I'm hoping that his trajectory follows uh, sort of like in the same sort of cadence of completion percentage increases, and everything goes from there. Big Wood, what about you? What does progress and success look like with Zach Wilson and the Jets to you? I think I, I echo a lot of what Mike, Mike T. just talked about. For me, it's, just, it's not about the splash plays with Zach Wilson. It's about the simple things, doing the, doing the simple things, doing the simple things right, the easy completions. That's where he struggled with last year. If he can do the easy things and play, within, you know, play from within the pocket, I think you know, that's a step in the right direction. Overall, as far as the team is concerned, I just want to see them play meaningful games in December. I think that would be progress for the New York Jets. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.